Hi and welcome to FTV, I'm Neil Anderson. These are the big stories in the forest this week. Express trains ground to a halt when farmer Rob Keane blocked a crossing with his tractor in an impromptu protest. The over farm boss said his tractor had broken down on the Gloucester to Lydney route, but he took his time fixing it. He claims that thousands of pounds worth of his crops have been lost due to Networks Rail's failure to prevent rabbits destroying his livelihood. We spoke to him earlier today about his protest. For the last two or three years, try, trying to talk uh, to Network Rail to try and get them to uh, improve the fences along here or put, put a fence there to stop their rabbits. They've got a huge uh, rabbit population living in their railway bank and they do absolutely nothing to uh, get rid of them. Occasionally they gas them, but as you know, rabbits breed so quickly. They're right back there in another couple of months. There's loads more. And uh, there's nothing to eat for them in the railway bank, but they all come out into the fields and eat all the crops. My tractor on the railway was obviously causing them a bit of a problem, but just like their rabbits were causing me a bit of a problem. And I thought, well, it might make a point to say, well, if you want to come and fix your railway fence, then I'll come and fix my tractor. So we had a little bit of a dialogue on that sort of lines. And um, uh, the guy who I'd um, asked for ages for over about 12 months to come out and put the fences there, he did actually come down within an hour. So uh, it did, did ha and he has promised to put fences up. We'll, we'll wait to see whether it actually happens or not. A father and son lost £80,000 worth of tools and equipment in a blaze at their garage and workshop near Newent. More than 25 firefighters were forced to pull back from the fire in the scar on Monday over fears that gas canisters could explode. Two fire crews remained at the property of Peter and James Bondsmith overnight for safety reasons. Motorists are once again facing disruption on the forest's roads. Two sections of the B4234 from Lydney to Lidbrook are now closed due to roadworks. Seven Trent Water has begun work on a project to replace ageing water mains between Whitecroft and Park End. The road between the villages will remain shut for 14 weeks. No progress has yet been made on the Canop to Murray stock section of roads, which has been closed since January. It collapsed during heavy storms and although it was expected to be reopened by Easter, work will now not begin until April 21st. Masons from across the globe will celebrate the ancient art of stone carving at a special event to be held in Longhope. The new stone carving festival will be staged at Hearts Barn Craft Centre from May the 24th to the 26th. The event will bring craftsmen and women from Europe and North America to the first festival of its kind in the UK for more than five years. That's all for FTV this week, but for all your breaking news, check out our website at www.thisisgloucestershire.co.uk. And for a roundup of all your local news and sport, don't forget to grab a copy of this week's paper. Thanks for watching.